Well, the owner of the Obama float met with the parade committee and the mayor's office last night. Members tell me the float was not meant to be racist. The entry was clearly stated as a political satire entry on the form. Oddfellows Lodge member Rick Konopasik said the owner did not break any rules when he drove this float in the annual Independence Day parade. The entry rules for the parade were followed. The Oddfellows has been sponsoring the 4th of July parade for, in Norfolk for 39 years, and we may change our rules in the future. The float displayed a zombie propped up against an outhouse called Obama's Presidential Library. Kano Pasek said Oddfellows does not agree or disagree with the content, but some people were outraged when they saw it and questioned the intent. The image itself is offensive. Everyone, ha I think, no matter what side of the aisle they're on, kind of can agree to that. Kano Pasek explains the questionable zombie-like figure does not depict the president, instead the owner of the float. The figure is supposed to be depicting the farmer that made this up. And uh, when you look at these pictures, he's got pliers in one pocket and a hammer in the other pocket. He's an elderly gentleman, so the figure has got a walker. And uh, he basically used a zombie head from uh, Halloween to make it up. On Saturday, the Nebraska Democratic Party called the float racist and disrespectful. Today, the Nebraska GOP said this was not anything conducted on behalf of or endorsed by the Republican Party. And the float received the most amount of audience support and even received an honorable mention. Norfolk Mayor Sue Fookman says the city has no role in the annual Oddfellows Lodge Parade or its displays. Reporting live, Rebecca Ray, KMTV Action 3 News.